You wouldn't stop and talk to that suspicious looking character though, would you? Anyway, Plaid is up first to answer some of the questions we heard there and uh, their leader in the last parliament, Elvin Floyd, is the man in the hot seat. Welcome to the programme, Thank Mr you very Floyd. Much. This is their manifesto. We'll be talking about that in a little more detail very shortly. But first, let's get our first If you question. rush into things now. Right, but we're talking about a five year parliament and, and I've read right through your manifesto today mm -hmm. and I couldn't really see you addressing the issue either of timing or of making any suggestions about where cuts or efficiency savings well, could be made. Have any, has any other party said about wh where the cuts are going to well, fall? Well, some of them have put figures on efficiency savings, I'll tell you where savings, some cuts will they? fall. Do we need 800 spin doctors in the MOD, I ask myself? Do we need that many? There are lots of Whitehall jobs that seem to be no jobs and they're well, very well, well paid indeed. OK, so how we much need, money are we talking about? There's nothing in here. We're talking about billions of pounds of money. We're talking about uh, looking at getting rid of Trident. Uh, that itself is six to seven billion per annum. Uh, ID cards, 600 million per annum. Looking at uh, not look ordering the Eurofighters, again, billions. And will These all of that go to paying down the deficit, then? Will all of, would all of those savings un under your plans go Part would go towards the deficit, part would go to towards ensuring that frontline services, the public services that, that that gentleman's referring to, are maintained. And that is very, very important, because uh, otherwise we were in real trouble. Right, so just to clarify then, your total suggestions for efficiency savings or cuts in the public services are A, not in your manifesto, and B, cutting a few spin doctors at the Ministry of Defence? No, they're not. I mean, that, that's very, very simplistic, if you don't mind me saying. There will have to be lots of cuts made at some point. What we are saying Mr. is... Mr Floyd, Plaid uh, has, a, has a big pledge on pensions. Yes, point number one, this lady is suffering because of Gordon Brown's pension raid, I think. Uh, we would increase the pensions for people over 80 years of age, not this lady as it happens, over 80 years of age, by bringing in a living pension for pensioners. It will cost about 2.8 billion per annum. We have already costed it. There are three uh, things in taxation. Capital gains tax should be at the uh, marginal rate that people pay income tax. Uh, we also like to see uh, applying just a simple uh, lowest form of relief on uh, pension uh, contributions and those earning over £100,000 can pay 50%. All of that will bring in £9.8 billion. So it's perfectly affordable to do it and we would like to introduce it throughout but it's only affordable for the over 80s to begin with and they actually are the most vulnerable in society. Do you know what puzzles me about what yes. you've just said is why none of the figures that you've just quoted to me are actually in your manifesto? Why well, would you not put them we, in there? We, 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 we've sent documents out previously about it. But this is the prospectus well, that you want people to, to elect you but on people, and you're, people, not, you're not giving those figures to public scrutiny if they're not in here, We've surely. already put them to public scrutiny by the BBC and everybody else four weeks ago. How many weeks do you want to look over them? Uh, what, this how is many the contract between how you many, and the voters. How many, how, well, uh, nobody has said, nobody's gainsayed that it's affordable. We've said it's affordable. Oh, plenty I of told people are now, gainsaying that it's no, affordable. It's not. Oh, they we've are, told Mr. You, Floyd. You we've know told they are. You that we, we've told you how we'd finance it. Uh, we haven't put the thing in the manifesto, but we've told you separately how we've financed the, the promises right. we make. Well, there are, so there what's are, the big deal? There are other spending pledges in here that will be expensive. You want to increase the personal allowance on taxation by £1,000. Yes. How much is that going to cost? Well, again, it's not in there, but it will cost a, a marginal amount of money. We can, it's How much affordable. Money? Well, it's not in there, but we've discussed this previously as well, as you well know. Uh, and to be honest, I do not know the no. answer to that question, which is why I'm, I'm asking you. Well, uh, the answer to that question, we will discuss it. I haven't got it with me today. I may as well confess. All right. You also want to cut uh, VAT on home maintenance and repair to yes. 5%. That's by more than two-thirds. How much is that going to cost? Well, what we would do there, we would impose a windfall tax on the energy companies and ensure that it is affordable, and I can assure you it would be absolutely affordable to do it. Right, but again, no figures. Well... Yes, well, we're going over the same ground again, aren't we? Well, no figures yes, in the manifesto. Yes, we are, manifesto. because it's yes. one of the things that really stood out to me yes. when I read the manifesto today, yes. Mr. Well, it, you, it may have done so, yeah. Uh, talk about reform of the tax system, some of which you've already outlined. Yes, I have. One of the things you also talk about, though, is the call for a maximum wage. Yes. Why? Well, because we think it's unfortunate that, uh, given the bankers' bonuses and the whole debacle, that some people are earning, you know, £5 million per annum, whereas most uh, honest, hard-working people now are struggling to live on a pittance. We are very concerned about that. The gap between the, the very poor and the very rich very, now very has briefly, expanded very much. Very briefly, and we're about very briefly it. can you name a single successful economy in the world that has a maximum wage? Um, there are economies in the world that have maximum wages. Yes, a successful there are. economy. Yes, there are. Name it. Um, 
I'm sure there's a European economy that's got a maximum wage, apart from the one we're, we're talking about now. But you can't name it. There's no blueprint for this. There's no blueprint for it. But All why, right. Why we, let's look we ahead to the leaders' debates, which yes. are, are taking place tonight for yes. the first time. Plaid Cymru is not involved in any of them. You're very unhappy about that. But how do you think, uh, and those who watch the repeat will, I suppose, know the answer to this question be before they hear yours, but uh, how do you think it will impact on this election? It's very difficult to say. Who knows? Um, it may give uh, perhaps a bit of a fillip uh, tomorrow to one or two, I don't know. Whether it'll be longer lasting, I couldn't say. I suspect that more people will be watching today than next week and the week after, because it seems to me that the format may well be rather sterile. Uh, but actually, having said that, it's grossly unfair as well that both we in Plaid Cymru and the Scottish National Party are not represented in that programme. And as you know, the justification for that is that however well you do in, in this election, neither party can actually put up a Prime Minister. Uh, indeed, and I don't think Nick Clegg is actually preparing for office either. Yet, theoretically, Nick Clegg could win the election, yes. couldn't he? Alex theoretically, Salmon, that couldn't Alex happen Alex Salmond for... is the First Minister of Scotland. Yeyan is the Deputy First Minister for Wales. We are nearer to the uh, centre of power than Nick Clegg is and ever will be. I'm grateful to you for talking you to us. Much. Thank you very much indeed, Mr Floyd. Thank you.